Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the sunrise with Jesus. Friends, these are days when we are spending so much of our time, so much of our life, so much of our relationships online and there is one side effect one perhaps of many side effects and this one side effect is we are running out of storage space i'm not sure if you had this experience but so many around me and myself when we open our phone on we see a message you have run out of storage space so either purchase more space or clean up and you go to your email inbox the story is the same so friends today we are going to look at how important it is to sort out our storage issues friends at the beginning of this day and of every day we need to remind ourselves of the God we have. The God we have, he tells us, behold, I make all things new. We have a God who is working and guess what? He is working in every area of our life, trying to bring in new graces. But for God to bring in new graces into our life, we need to be available. We need to cooperate with God. We need to allow him to hand over what he is waiting to give to us. And here is where we need to look at Mother Mary. Mother Mary is one person through whom God could achieve the most. And we see she was always open to God's work because she was always open to God's word. Very specially, we look at two words that Mother Mary speaks. The first is this, she says in Luke chapter 1 verse 38, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. I am serving, I am assisting the Lord. I am cooperating with the Lord. I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the first thing she reveals to us is, for us to cooperate with God, we need to submit to his word. Like Mother Mary, we need to say, God, let it happen to us according to your word. And the second precious teaching that Mother Mary gives us is in the Gospel of John, chapter 2, verse 5, at the wedding of Cana, in that crisis situation, she tells the servers, do whatever he tells you, John 2, 5. So what is she revealing to us? Firstly, if I need to serve God, I need to submit to his word. And secondly, if I need to experience the wonder working power of God in my life, I need to listen to all that he tells me. Everything that God tells me, I need to receive it. But friends, the greatest challenge you and I have is that we are running out of storage space. And here there is a small problem. When our phone or our email runs out of storage space, when our computers run out of storage space, we always have the possibility of purchasing extra space. But when it comes to our mind, when it comes to our heart, when it comes to our life, there's no way we can buy extra storage space. We cannot purchase even an extra second in a day. And therefore, we need to settle for option two. And what is option two? If you are not able to purchase extra storage space, even a dumb computer would tell you that you need to clean up. You need to sort out. And for this, we need time. We need to sit back in silence. Friends, Mother Teresa tells us, the fruit of silence is prayer. Silence is absolutely necessary for us to have that encounter with God. We need silence because only when we are silent can God speak. Now, what is silence? Now, 
silence is yes the absence of noise the absence of sound but let us know there is a more precious silence that is necessary for our heart and our mind to receive god's word for us to become handmaidens of god's word as servants of god's word and that is the inner silence the inner silence is all precious sometimes even when you are in the noisiest places you can carry that inner silence you can keep that space to hear god's voice and how do we achieve inner silence by getting rid of three elements in our life and the first is this get rid of unnecessary opinions now friends we have perhaps a habit of forming an opinion about everything we know and everything we don't know of every one we know and every one we don't know and very often there is so much of wrong information going around because we have formed opinions about things we do not know and therefore we must realize when we are in the habit of making opinions all the time there's no way we can keep silence because we'll be overflowing with our opinions and so we need to sit back and realize that if we should not be overflowing with opinions in the first place we must know we don't have to be pressurized to form opinions there are certain issues where we need to form opinions well say an issue of values an issue of faith i need to have a very clear opinion about where i stand say on pro life issues where i stand about holiness but then there are many 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 things political issues social issues medical issues and we cannot form opinions it's not our business to burden ourselves with forming opinions so the first thing we need to sort out in our lives is the area of opinion making when your mind is beginning to form an opinion about someone stop realize you don't need to do that when you're trying to form an opinion about anything else in the world that is not your area of speciality don't bother doing it there is only one license in forming opinions when your opinion rises from the word of god the second thing we need to clear out of our life is anxieties about the unknown future there are very many of us who are in the habit the bondage of agonizing about our future we look at the economic scenario and we're constantly thinking about what could happen and if that happens what else could happen and we're busy engaging our mind in futile and negative anxieties we become anxiety machines and here is where we need to remember god tells us do not be anxious god doesn't say you need not be anxious god doesn't say you may choose not to be anxious jesus actually gives it like a command he says do not be anxious because it is only those who do not have a god who are going to choose to be anxious so the second thing we clear out is anxieties and the third thing we need to clear out sort out in our lives is the analysis very many of us can be looking at our past dwelling in the incidents of the past and constantly analyzing and reanalyzing who is responsible for what went wrong friends by doing such analysis over something that is dead and gone is not going to bring any healing and that is why we need to come in prayer and hand over to god those events in our past that we cannot understand that we're not reconciled to when we do so and wait in silence we will experience god speaking when we empty ourselves and come before god we can be so sure he will do something new in our life friends mother mary the glorious mother of jesus the glorious queen of heaven is our encouragement to be still and know the power of god